up. You are live. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live. Episode number 80. I am sitting here in the studio on a very, very rainy day in East Tennessee. Uh, we've got flooding all across the area, so if you're out there and about, take care of yourself. Make sure you uh, don't drive through the water. Stay alive. Don't do that part. Uh, Jason got pulled into a meeting really quick. He's going to try to join us as quickly as possible. Melina's over here taking some notes and doing her thing. Uh, she's going to try to talk to me as we go along just until Jason gets here. But I want everybody to come in and have a good time. We've got some great items today. We've got stuff from, CR, uh, from Spyderco, from CRKT, from GEC, even Pena X, the X series, and a Heretics knife to go through. So we've got some cool stuff to look at. And uh, we're just going to get through it. If you don't know, this show is brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Right now, we are just a Whitewater River raft ride away from exit 407 in Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, it's actually just three miles off of that exit, right off of Interstate 40. Um, hey, Molina, will you move where I can see you? No, I will not. <laughs> Quit hiding behind the wall. I like being here. You can move your chair over, too. It's oh, totally yeah. fine. Oh, yeah. Gosh, nag. nag, 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 nag. Guys, we've got some um, some show, some some business to take care of first. I, last week we gave away that CRKT Provoke First Responder, uh, and lo and behold, my favorite Leroy Crumme. Actually, it's just Leroy Crummit. He won that that CRKT First Responder that is brand new from CRKT. Leroy Crummit from Louisiana itself has won that CRKT first responder. So congratulations, uh, Leroy. I'm glad you're back with us. We hadn't seen you in a while in the group or on the site, and we appreciate you coming back in. And look what happens when you do. You win something. That's pretty crazy. Um, we do have a Valentine's Day sale going on right this very minute, and hopefully Jonathan has dropped in this lovely, lovely piece that is now sitting here where you can see what's going on. <clears throat> this Valentine's Day sale is only happening today and tomorrow, February 6th and February 7th, but it's actually pretty cool. Every single order of $49 or more gets a free SMKW pocket sharpener. We ordered these last year, they finally come in. If you spend $49 with us today or tomorrow, you're going to get one of those free pocket sharpeners right in your order. It's going to be perfect for you, absolutely. Every order of $75 or more, it gets free priority mail shipping. So you're going to get free priority mail shipping on any order of $75 or more, plus your pocket sharpener, and we're going to give you a Valentine's Day card. It's not your normal Valentine's Day card. It is the Tool Logic credit card companion. It is like, I think like right here on your screen, I think. Free shipping is over here, the credit card companion is right here, and the pocket sharpener is like right there maybe. I've got it backwards possibly. Um, it is a cool little tool. It's got all kinds of stuff, a compass, uh, uh, some tweezers, a little dagger blade. It is just a fantastic little thing. So if you send, spend $75 or more, we're gonna throw that in your order, we're gonna throw the pocket sharpener in, and we're gonna ship it to you, priority mail, for free. Take advantage, that sale is only happening today the 6th, and tomorrow the 7th, that's to get you ready for Valentine's Day, which is next week. Do we have any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? Are we up? Can we, will you cover, yeah, we're up. Um, will you cover how you should give away work, how they find out whether they want it or not? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, look, so we moved the giveaways from Instagram over to YouTube. So there are no longer giveaways weekly on Instagram. We do giveaways now every single week. They drop Wednesday mornings on, excuse me, on YouTube. Those, those giveaways, here's how you do it. it. There'll be instructions right in the video of how you enter. Most of the times it's just a comment. There are some rules that go along with those that you have to know. So for instance, all of our giveaways, you must be at least 18 years of age. You also must be a resident of North America, of the United States basically. Uh, we're not going to ship to Europe, we're not going to ship to uh, Czechoslovakia, we're not going to slip to Brazil. You need to be a resident of North America, so Canada, uh, Mexico, or the United States, and we could possibly ship to you there. So if you don't meet those two criteria, you're not going to get it. 
Uh, what we'll do every time we put one of those give giveaways, we'll tell you how long the giveaway runs, then we'll tell you when we will end that giveaway, and we will tell you when we announce it. If you look on the YouTube channel right now, if you were to go there and look, you're going to see the giveaways in line. There have been two that are complete. I put the words complete in the title so that you know that that giveaway has ended, and then I also put the name of the winner that we select randomly from all the comments right as the first part of that caption. It was Tim Cook this past week, right? Yes. So Tim Cook just won the uh, mini proponent, brass mini proponent uh, that we just gave away. There is a new giveaway for a Benchmade bailout right now. Uh, get on that one. You have up until uh, midnight Tuesday of next week to get on that one. And then the new giveaway will drop on Wednesday morning. Does that pretty much cover what we were into? Awesome. Yes. I just got the big thumbs up right there. Any other questions, thoughts, comments, concerns? That was uh, a... Yeah. Uh, any news on Rough Rider? New, new Rough Riders uh, we have two brand new series that we are working feverishly to get up on the web. I hope to show you those next week. Uh, if they get up on the web, we will show you uh, a series called High Plains, which is a really awesome little bone series. And then we have another series called Stoneworks Malachite. It's Malachite and Pearl, and they are gorgeous. We are working feverishly, I promise you, to get these up. They just literally came into the building this week, and we've, we're getting them shot, we're getting them put together, and they will get up on the web. So yeah, some new stuff from Rough Rider coming, uh, some really awesome stuff from Rough Rider coming down the line in the next little bit. Uh, I can't wait to show you all of that. Anything else? Uh, on YouTube specifically, if they, if they win on YouTube. Yes, for okay. Live, for the live drawing. For the live drawing. So, oh, okay, I guess I can, I don't know, really, I want you to say what you're after. Because the, he qualified his question. Okay, so here here's the thing. If you get entered into a giveaway on the live, you cannot put your put your entry on the live comments. You cannot put it in the live chat feed. We can't contact you that way. We can't reply to you that way. You have to go and enter as a comment on the video when the video is done. Or at, can they do that while it happens? Yeah, they should be able to. So not you cannot enter in the chat. It's just we can't reply to you. We can't tell you who you are that won. You would have to come back and look and see who won if you won right there. If you put it in a regular comment as a reply to the video, then we can actually reply directly to that. In fact, our giveaways that happen all the time on YouTube, that's not what we do. We reply to you and tell you how to get in touch with us, and that's how you know. Uh, you will see your notifications tell you that you got a reply to one of your comments from Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. Oh, let me say this while we're out there, too. There's some people out there who want to pretend to be Smoky Mountain Knifeworks on Facebook. It's happened twice so far. Know this about our giveaways on Facebook. We give you a week there too. Uh, so as soon as the giveaway goes up, if somebody contacts you about today's giveaway and says you won, you need to click some links and do some things, that's not us. We don't do it that way. We go in and we literally message you. So we wait the week's time that it says right there in the hashtag do the words part of this thing. And then we find you and we send you a direct message. So uh, even on the giveaways from the lives, we do the exact same thing. At no time are you ever going to have to click something special to win or get your prize or whatever. We will contact you directly. We will tell you how to get get your information to us, and then we'll ship you your prize. It happens all the time. And we certainly don't need your credit card. We do not need your credit card. <laughs> the one thing to do is when you see these things come through, look at the name of the place. If it's not four words, if it's not Smoky Mountain Knife Works, it's not us. It is yeah, not us. Dots, <clears throat> <underscore>. <clears throat> We've not been hacked. <clears throat> we, we, we're not having somebody... Uh, take over our site. They're faking like they're us and they're trying to prey on you as a pretend us. So usually they'll have like Smoky Dash Mountain or SM Dash KW, something weird like that. Or I think once it was just Knife Works, right? As one of the yeah. things that was there. They're pretending to be us. They're trying to scam you out of your information. So don't fall for that. Uh, we will contact you directly to tell you that you have won. Anything else? Nope. Okay, awesome guys. Again, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. We've got some great things to look at. We're talking about uh, something new. Let me get my notes. 
I made it hard on myself today. I'm gonna move this chair like right here. Uh, we're talking about uh, something new, the EDC of the week, Pocket Candy Traditional, which is awesome this week, the Premium of the week, and the Automatic of the week right there. So let's just jump into this. The something new right now is a knife that we saw last year. It has just come in to us, and it is the Spyderco Parada. This is the funkiest Spyderco that I have ever seen. I don't think it gets much funkier than this. It has its new, their new stop lock uh, system. The stop lock's on the back, it lifts up, it moves. Look at this blade, it is just massive, wide craziness. This is just a really fun knife from Spyderco. This is a Paul Alexander design. We'll go camera two and let's, we'll, we'll show you this knife up close and personal. Okay. So on this knife, you have a 3.5 inch VG10 modern drop point blade. And I don't even think that that really explains it. This blade does not look like any other blade that I have seen out there. It's kind of like a cross between a, a fat Skinner blade and some kind of drop point. It is just very modern. Look at the grind and the swedge on that. It is absolutely gorgeous with its satin finish. This thing is 0.12 inches thick, so it's nearly an eighth of an inch thick. It does have in this blade, if you look right here, an integral finger guard, okay? So you can choke up on this thing and right into the blade and it's not gonna be a problem at all. Like almost every single Spyderco that's out there, this thing has the trademark Spyderco round hole opener. Here's the stop lock. It moves up. It moves up like this and unlocks the blade. You can do it one-handed. You can just pop this part up and the blade falls closed. Use one hand to pop it open with that thumb hole. It is fantastic right there. This thing, of course, has a G10 handle, so it makes it super light. It has a wire pocket clip, which is ambidextrous, so it's gonna go lefty or righty. You've got a really nice lanyard tube here on the back. This The Parada closes down to 4.6 inches. It is eight inches overall, and it weighs just 3.1 ounces. This is a Spyderco made in Japan. It is the Spyderco Parada. Um, I don't know, Melina, what do you think about this knife? I think it's cool looking. I think it is cool looking. I think it has a really cool factor. I think it feels really good in the hand. I'm not sure what I would use this knife for. I like that stop lock though. I hope they start putting that stop lock on more things. The stop lock was a little tight for me. Loud. The, can you, they'll tell me. The stop lock was a little tight for me. Uh huh. But once I got the hang of it and right. did it a while, it was. Cool. It is cool. It's just very different. I think Paul Alexander brought to the table something very different for Spyderco in this. That price point on the Parada, and we don't have a lot of these. They just came in, but we still don't have a lot. $192.50 on the Parada. Let's see how this thing cuts. Whoa. Oh, yeah. John Duncan said it's perfect for hand fruit. It's perfect for hand fruit. Yeah. Big hand fruit. That's pretty nice. That That's not bad at all, especially for the, the thickness of this blade. Of course, I'm gonna do that right after I do that. But that is not, not, that is not bad. And I think you have to find the belly on this thing. That's pretty cool. It's just so very different. This is new from Spyderco. It was new for 2019, but we have just finally gotten it in. So it is very new to us right here from Spyderco. That is the Parada, 192.50 on that right there. Cool beans, play with the stop lock all day long. It's a new fidget spinner, fun stuff. We're gonna get jump right into the EDC of the week. Okay, EDC, everyday carry. This is something you can throw in your pocket, not worry about any of that good stuff. We are gonna look at the brand new CRKT Montosa. This is a Richard Rogers design. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Richard Rogers, if you've not followed him on Instagram or other places, he designed the CEO. Uh, it's a great little knife. This is another new design from Richard Rogers. He's probably one of my favorite designers out there. Um, he is a slip joint guy. We got to talk to him at Blade Show. I think that his knowledge and and uh, use of what he knows from slip joints uh, to make these modern knives for CRKT, it's impressive. If you go to his Instagram site and you look at all of his stuff, it's just, it's really gorgeous. I think he's doing things that are different from almost anybody out there. This is the Montosa. If you look at that blade, it looks like a big, fat, 
spay blade that you would find on a slip joint. In fact, let's look at it up close. Okay, guys, this is the CRKT Montosa. The, the Thunder Steeler here is it's 54 bucks. It is 54 bucks for a Richard Rogers design. The blade itself is a 3.25 inch bead blast finish, 8CR13 MOV, what they're calling a clipped nose blade, but I would defy you to imagine that that is a spay blade with a fat belly on it. It's just a gorgeous spay blade. It's one eighth of an inch thick, so it is a nice and sturdy EDC. Um, it has the ambidextrous thumb studs, so lefties and righties can open this thing up just fine. It's a liner lock. Uh, it has black G10 handles, and then like some of these other new CRKTs that are out there, it has the anodized pivot collar. This is a bright purple, and then it has an anodized spacer with the integrated lanyard hole. Look at that. It's just a real nice pop of color right there in the middle of that G10 handle. This thing is fantastic. Um, I absolutely love it. It closes down to 4.5 inches. It's 7.7 .7 inches overall, and it weighs 3.2 ounces. And again, it's 54 bucks from CRKT. I like this knife. Um, I think this knife in particular needs to get a little bit worked in because I do have trouble with that thumb stud flicking it. I have to get it moving first. I think though, maybe adjusting the pivot or working at it, it would just be fantastic. I think this just looks very, very different from anything that's out there. I wanna know what you guys think about this thing though. Tell me uh, tell me uh, what you think about the Montosa. I know you wanna complain about the ACR 13 MOV steel. It's as close to 440A as you possibly get. Is that right? Yes, but we all like the purple. Oh, the purple rules. The purple <laughs> on this thing rules. I mean, it's like royal That's purple. It's about. like ba bam right there in that handle. ACR 13 MOV is great for everyday use. It is about as close as you're going to get to 440A. Um, and it does the job. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, right? This thing is, it's just a great little EDC. Say you needed to cut some boxes, you can do that as well. I feel like a small child in a high chair right now. Ugh. So, I mean, that's just nice, right? Taking this thing down. 54 bucks from CRKT, Richard Rogers Design. I can't wait to see what he does with some of the other stuff. I'm going to bet that there is a flipper version. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm going to bet that there is a flipper version of the CEO in the works. I want it. Hey, all of us want it, right? <laughs> uh, I love my CEO. I, I just, it is fantastic little knife. Uh, and this Richard Rogers is no different. This is the Montosa, 54 bucks from CRKT. It is the EDC of the week. Okay, let's get into pocket candy traditional. If you don't know what I mean by pocket candy traditional, here is the category. It is anything that is considered a traditional knife. Anything that would be able to be shown off or showed to somebody else and go, this, look at my pocket candy today, and you do not get much better than this. This is our SMKW exclusive, GEC Tidiute 620 220. It is the Easy Pocket Congress. You cannot get this thing anywhere else except for SMKW. It even has our name written right on the blade. Let's have a look at this thing because I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the Tidiute. Easy Pocket Congress. It's called an Easy Pocket Congress because it has that easy open slot in it. You don't see a lot of Congress knives with Warncliffe blades in them. This one does have it. I think that's what uh, GEC made special with this. Uh, in particular, this is our exclusive. It is $89.67 to get it. I think at last count we had, what, 60 of these left at most? At most. At most. Probably maybe closer to 50 at this point. If you want this thing, you need to get it. It is satin finish, 1095 carbon steel blades. They both have nail nicks and half stops. This is literally a natural canvas micarta handle. This is what we asked for for our exclusive. It's what we got. The bolsters on nickel silver, the uh, pins are brass and that bomb shield is unique to us too. It is also flat nickel silver on that right there. Um, it does have brass liners. 
The blades are 1 16th of an inch thick, and I'm not sure how much, oh yeah, here it is. It closes down to 3.875 inches closed, what's that, I think that's three and five eighths, and it weighs 2.08 ounces, made right here in the USA. Let me show you both sides. This natural micarta, oh, I love it. Let's hear the action on this thing, let's see if I can do it. That's not bad, pop that open. Here's what it looks like fully open. That is just a pretty knife. It is a very traditional feel to this knife. Here's the half stop again, we'll do it up close. There's that. Not bad, not bad at all. It's a pretty easy pull. It's a pretty easy pull on this thing. What do you think of this one? Did we pick right on this? Yes, we did good. We actually went through like several, we, we, okay, so when we do exclusives with somebody, we go around the office and we talk to Josh, we talk to Tony, we talk to Jason, we talk to everybody, we talk to Tyler, and we try to decide what is going to be best. I remember we stood around for what, 30, 40 minutes that day just debating on what the best handle material is, and your vote was always? White what? smooth bone. White smooth bone. I'm trying, y'all. She's trying very hard for you guys to do white smooth bone. Normally we trump her or veto her, but this turned out great from uh, GEC. It is the Tidiute Easy Pocket Congress two blade knife from GEC, our SMKW exclusive, and it comes in right at right at ninety bucks, eighty nine sixty seven on this thing. Any questions, comments, thoughts? They like it. They like it. Yeah. I, I saw several comments in the group this week saying, I wish I had waited. I got the blood red jig bone. I wish I had waited and got the natural canvas. You can get both. Just, you know, get them both. That's what you should do. Just, just get all the knives that are there. <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, who needs to eat or pay bills? Buy knives. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. See, this is why we're married. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. So moving on, we've looked at something new, uh, EDC of the week, pocket candy traditional, and now we are going to look at the premium of the week, <coughs> uh, Pena, Pena, P-E-N-A, Pena. This is part of the Pena X series. It is a Bronco. Um, I don't know if you guys have paid attention to what Pena has been doing with modernizing traditional looking knives it's modernizing slip joints but he has done an amazing job if you go look at his customs they're unbelievable and these production knives are just as good this is the Bronco this is a slip joint knife guys this is not a knife with a lock this is just all modern gorgeous goodness the blade on this thing is 3.125 inches long. It is S30VN steel. That is a clip point. Look at that grind. Look at that satin finish. Look at that swedge. It's all just so perfectly done and it looks so close to his customs that it's not even funny. I think this is about as close to a custom that you can get in an actual production piece. This thing is an eighth of an inch thick. Of course it is. You've got a nice beefy blade right there in this one-bladed slip joint. Uh, the handles are titanium, and then this particular version that I have in my hand right now has natural micarta inlays. Um, it does have the half stops. It does have a strong pull. So I'm going to show you this. So boom, there's half. There it is. I would say this pull is about a 7. If I had to put it on that scale of 1 to 10, I would say the pull itself is about a 7. It does come with this genuine leather carrying slip. So you get a knife slip with every one of these. Uh, it opens up all the way to 7.125 inches, uh, and it weighs 3.85 ounces. This is no slouch. This is no slouch of a knife at all. Um, you are not going to have any trouble with this closing down on you. It is a slip joint, but it does do some very, very nice things. I'm going to cut some. I haven't cut anything with a pinion knife ever. We're going to do this for the first time. It's going to happen. God. I mean, for real. Now, you buy a pinion, you're going to pay a premium price. I'm just going to tell you right now. It is a premium price. That's why this is the premium of the week. It is $239 for this Bronco. I think we have, what, four versions on the site? Yes. Here are. OD Green, Micarta, uh, Desert Tan. We got 
That color. Natural Tambacarta. Desert ironwood inlays and oh, so, fiber. Yeah, that ironwood would look really cool. It is actual wood, which yeah. is in the inlay. But all of them are titanium. All the hardware, I believe, is titanium as well. But these are fantastic knives. Um, that's a very pretty profile on... Look at the profile again on this. Look at the profile on that clip point blade. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. I got my paper here. Ooh, boo. Look at the grind. I mean, everything about this knife, look at the, how the slip joint meets up. It's just pretty. Let's look at uh, blade centering on the Pena. Uh, it's pretty darn good. Here, let me turn it right towards the camera. Let me curry still. I know. It's just, it's pretty easy with one blade, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage them. I know. I know. $239 on this. This is the premium pick of the week. Four different versions on the site. I will say that every time we get the Peñas in, they go quick. If you go to that brand page right now, you'll notice that many, many of the other ones are not in stock at all. They are gone. They come in. We sell them. They go. That's it. The steel was S30, what, 35, wasn't it? It is S30. S30? Mm-hmm. According to my notes, it is S30. <laughs> Little inside joke there. Uh, according to my notes, this is S30 VN steel. Um, and that should be just S30V, right? Because S35VN. Well, now, now she's going to go look go and make this. sure that our notes are right. Because our notes could be wrong. While she's doing that, I'm going to cut some cardboard with an expensive knife. It's going to happen. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Monkey fist that slip I joint. Bet it's Do not. It could be. I don't know that it says it on the blade anywhere. It does not say it on the blade. It very well could be. She's betting that it's S thirty five VN, which very much may be it. I bet it's S thirty five VN. Probably. So we'll find out. We'll make sure those are right on the site and get them all done for you. But that is the Bronco right there. From Pena, it's part of the Pena X series. So guys, if you haven't gone and looked at the different Pena stuff out there, do it. Uh, this stuff is gorgeous. He is modernizing the slip joint, um, taking it into the future, and this one is just a gorgeous version of that. Any questions, comments, thoughts, anything so far? Man, we were just trucking right along in this show right here. <laughs> no Jason, just keeping it going. It's exactly what it is. Okay, the last knife on the table. Heretic Knives. If you don't know about Heretic Knives, Heretic Knives was formed by uh, Anthony Marfione Jr., son of Anthony Marfione. Anthony Marfione Jr. and his wife, who is awesome, they got together and they formed Heretic Knives and they began making their own automatic knives and regular knives as well. They make a knife called a Medusa. And this Medusa right here is our auto of the week. Uh, I've shown one of these once before. This is the recurved Tanto version of this with the red and black handles. It's a push button out the side auto. The action is strong, but not so strong that you're gonna pop it out of your hands. And I just really like what Heretic Knives is doing with their knives. Let's have a look at this one up close. Ooh, that was weird. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Medusa with the recurved Tanto. Uh, if you know anything about those, this is your one serrate knife with that nice little point right there where you can dig that into a box. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight off the top, this thing is $250 from Heretic Knives. The blade itself is 3.125 inches long, but look how wide it is. It is a massive blade for that, that length. Uh, it is S35VN. It does have a recurved Tanto blade. Um, it is 0.16 inches thick. I know that looks a little bit deceiving on camera because of the heavy swedge at the top, but it is 0.16 inches thick, so this is a nice, thick, sturdy blade. It does have the thumb hole. I'm not sure how you would use that with an out-the-side auto, but it does have a thumb hole there. It does have thumb ridges, so this thing is going to let you get a nice grip up on top. Again, it is a push button automatic, so it locks and opens just by pushing the button. It unlocks and opens. It locks down from that push button, which is right here on the side of this particular knife. The handles themselves, they are black and red aluminum, and I like the feel of this. It has a very organic feel to me. It has a very uh, rustic 
feel, sort of like it's been used a lot, a little post-apocalyptic uh, alien feel to it. I don't know how else to say that. It's just really, really cool on that whole thing. It does come with a tip-up pocket clip. That is not reversible, but it is removable. Uh, it does also have a lanyard hole that is integrated into that back spacer. I like this back of the handle jumping right there. This thing is 4.5 inches closed. It is 7.625 inches overall, and it is a hefty knife. It weighs 4.8 ounces and was made right here in the USA by Heretic Knives. It's the Medusa Oblongata. <laughs> Jimmy Slash. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Got the Medusa Oblongata. <laughs> oh, Lord. So what's fun about these, um, these knives that have a recurve in a tanto like that? <clears throat> I don't want to cut the table, but you can actually slip this into the top of a box and give a cut. Like if you were opening a box, you could stick that into this tape and go straight down through with that one little point that is right there. The rest of this blade gives you a great push. It's just nice that way. Check the, oh, look at you show up at the end. <laughs> I done did it all. That's what Jason's I'm here. <laughs> Come on. That's what I was hoping for. Come on, Cletus. God, you're just making a mess. <laughs> I making a mess. It's a mess all over my chair and everything. <sighs> oh. Did you finally get out of there? You know it. I ran for the door. We're looking at the Medusa Oblongata, according to Jimmy Slash. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I got through all the specs on it. I'm just tearing crap up with it. Well, that's right? good. I mean, that's an awesome knife. this thing. Yeah. I love the power in that opening. It is not too much. It is not no. too little. It doesn't feel like it's going to jump out of your hand. Right. I love it. It's just Ding. kind of understated. It reminds me of some of the uh, Gerbers, the the 06 Autos. Sure, yeah. And yeah. that kind of stuff. It is not so much that it's going to jump out of your hand. Well, here's the problem. A Boker Kalashnikov mm -hmm. of this same size. Mm -hmm would just fly out again and stab somebody walking by. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they would be dead. They would like sprout rings and jump across the world. Microtech action. Oh yeah. On this. It would just and yeah. somebody would die. Right. So no, this is the, the action on this is perfect, I think. It's a good night. Hello. <laughs> you got good stuff on the table. This and the fact that it comes with its own little case. It comes with its own little pouch. Of course Tony Bose would say. Girly knife purse. A girly, girly knife, knife purse. purse. Yes. My only problem would be if is the is this right here. Well, maybe don't cram it in. So I know you know you're exactly right, and that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes the other way, right? What? Did I put it in there backwards? It would give you more to grab to get out, right? So if you put it in this way, then you've got more hands. Uh huh. There's your instructions Look at for the that, day, right? So you. you you like your tip-up orientation right there. There you go. In your girly knife purse. <laughs> Gotta take the girly Man, knife purse. This knife though. Um, yeah. For real. No, when these hit my desk the other day, I was like, that's uh He does such a good job. It is such a good looking finished yes. product. That's what I that's what yeah. every detail has been looked at. You talk about snap. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like I said, that one's a seven or an eight, easy on the yeah. pull. That's Easy awesome. on the pull. I dig it. And then we have our exclusive. <laughs> no. Sad we have to recap They're the laughing whole at show us. for Jason. You're laughing at Jason hard. If I, you can't get here on time, just get there when you can. It's okay. That's exactly right. <laughs> would you rather see me or not? That, he would rather not. But <laughs> Jonathan goes, just go in. Stretch the show. He's dying. No. <laughs> nice. He did. He did. I know he did. No, I, I think this turned out great. Uh, it's totally Yes, ma'am. They want you to give away the pannier. Uh, They're dreaming. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Look, I would be fine regardless of price point, but we don't have many of them. No, no. We never so, get a lot of those. Eh. And so, yeah. It, yeah, if it was, if we had like 20, 30 of each of those, oh, sure. yeah. easily no, be all I would give away be one all of those. Yep. Besides, no, that, we gave away the $225 knife last week. That's true. That is true. What do you, who, who won that? Uh, Leroy Creme. Did he really? You know, he comes back. He goes in the random picker, boom, wins. Leroy Crumey. I like to say Leroy Crumey because he's from Louisiana. Leroy, I, I want, I want an action shot. Again, yes, no. His action shot, the, his first win that he had with us, his his selfie was one among the very best selfies we've ever got. Yes, I for sure want a picture of that of that thing in action. Yes. <laughs> what is this one? 
That's the CRKT Montosa, That's designed right. by Richard Rogers. That's right. We even, we even talked about that, didn't we? Yeah. This is the one you're going to have to work to get at the at the uh, thumb stud. You know, it's... And it's going to be just like the CEO was. As you get, figure out where it is, though, yep. you're golden, and there's no issues with it. Um, this... Do you tell them why this is on the show? Uh, because you've said put it on the show. It all went this. crazy. Yeah, the Parada. Yeah. yeah. I, this, again, so this is how products go on the website. We get them over from the warehouse. Now, sometimes the companies are good enough to have stock photography for us. We don't have to shoot them. We can use their stats off of their websites, off of, you know, uh, product details, whatever. Right. And we build the product from there. Sometimes we get nice, shiny, pointy things in to play with. Yes. Much like this Prada. And Chris or Jonathan or Greg will run it to my desk and go, hey, look at this. Uh -huh. And I go, ooh, new Spyderco. Um, that and is the most I different looking Spyderco that I've ever seen. Dig it, but it still it does it has that nice snap, fits good in your hand. Mm -hmm. And I said, Andy, Andy. Yeah, he did. He flagged me I down did. to look at the Prada. He was like headed to the bathroom. And I was like, no, no. What was my very next question about the Prada? When can we have it on the site? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we can put it on the show. Yep. yep. So we rushed it through, got it on the site, and it's on the show, like a week later. What's crazy is we've been waiting forever for the Parada. Like I said earlier in the show, it, it was a 2019 item. Yeah. It just didn't get here. Just didn't get here. Yeah. And I've noticed that across the board, everybody's showing their Parada now, which means yeah. Spyderco finally got their Parada <laughs> out to everybody. It, it happens, though. It happens. <clears throat> you know, the, the funny thing is you order something, you put it online, we sell out. Say it's an item you can reorder. Sometimes it is a couple months. Yeah. Because you you got to wait. Yeah. More have to be made. Whatever. Right. Company didn't realize that it was going to fly through that faster. Right. It's just supremely cool. It is a cool knife. Like this knife. Um, just supremely cool. Is it is not an easy one hander. I don't. I wonder how this thing feels. It's flat enough. I bet wow. it's not bad. Look how bad how much it disappears. Yeah. That actually goes nicely. I don't know if I can do this on, on camera or not, if I'm tall enough or not, but see, it goes mostly yeah. away, and it is really not that bad. It is going up against my pants seam just it's fine. It's super flat. And I've got most of my pocket left. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And you got a big chunk of knife. Yeah. I mean, um, considering what I had in that pocket. Yeah. I just really love that blade. No, it's nice. Jonathan, if I throw you a curveball, will you be able to handle it? Can you put up the Valentine's Day thing again? Take off the last little little thing and put the Valentine's thing back up. The little bell, little bell, bell. Just let, just holler out when you got it up there. Okay, ah! we're gonna hit it one more time in case people don't know. Yes, there is a sale going on today and tomorrow only. For sure. Period. Right now, Jason, like right across here mm -hmm. and down, we are showing that you get free. Cut it out. Yeah, you cut it out. <laughs> Free priority mail shipping at $75. At $49, you're going to get the SMKW Pocket Sharpener. Everybody who spends $49 or more today or tomorrow gets a free SMKW Pocket Sharpener. There's yeah. a picture of it, like right here right somewhere. There. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you're going to spend $75. If you do that, you get the free priority mail shipping and you get a Valentine's Day card. Yes, indeed. The Tool Logic credit card companion at that. So you could walk away. Getting your order fast and free with two extra items yes. if you order today or tomorrow. And don't just buy for your loved ones. <laughs> buy, no, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> At some point, show yourself some self love. Be a little selfish. Order something for that significant other. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying, in addition to, get yourself something nice. Show baby Billy some self love. That's right. <laughs> Wow. That's a statement. That's so a take statement. advantage of that today, Jonathan. You can get rid of that part off of there. But that is the sale that's going on today and tomorrow. Um, it's the first one we've had in a little while. It is first one. I think we sold. We did. We sold ourselves out. It, that sounds terrible. We we did a lot of sales did, at the end of 2019. You a guys lot. got an email from us every day from like Black Friday from the Monday prior to yes. Black Friday. No, it was the Friday prior to the Friday of Black Friday. Yes, yes. Through the first or second of January. Yes. Um, so we and need I know to take at some point you were just you. like, "Stop! Stop sending me emails." Question. Oh, you got oh, yes. I did not know. Did not know you actually did. How dare you, it. sir? It's Thursday. 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 Come on. Ooh. Best deck. 
Yeah, it is. Number one. Oh, this is the... Um, God, that's got good action, doesn't it? Oh, it's called like a Snapdragon or something like the that. The Goblin. The Goblin, goblin. Yes, yes, yes. Which is sad because you think of Goblins as being very, very ugly, and that's a cute little knife. No, it's, it's 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 cool. It is. I like that. Small, I like that. Small. The where your where the twirl and your thumb hit. I like that. There's that whole class now that's like my Cold Steel Tough Light of knives that are small that go in your pocket that have this basic formation yes. to this thing. Um, it lets you go here. It lets you go here. This is your fancy box cutter right here from Best Tech. Oh yeah. Do you know the specs and stuff on this? Yes, I do. It's as soon as they load. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the grind on that. Look at my thumbprint on that. God, it dude. has a two-inch uh, S35VN sheep spit blade. Nice. Uh, titanium handles with the carbon fiber inlay. That's sweet. Yes. Anodized uh, titanium pocket clip and fat meets anodized. So this is all titanium all with titanium. carbon fiber overlay. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. The integrated spacer back here is probably titanium as well with the yep. lanyard hole in For it. Sure. It is a manual flipper, obviously. Probably has some ball bearings in no, it. it some, oh, it definitely does. It has washers. Does it have washers? Like, it's like it again. It feels like washers to me. Does it feel like washers? I don't know. Either way. Either way. It is it, really, really smooth. Yeah. No, that's super smooth. Uh. It's 160, just under 160. That's not uh, bad. The thickness on that is 0.13, so it is greater than an eighth inch. That is a good little knife. See, this is what I'm talking about with these. So you can choke up right here. Yeah. And just go to town. You're not. You're not looking at just a. Okay. You're not carrying just a simple little pocket knife anymore. No, you're, you're, it's a utility knife. <laughs> it is. That's Completely. what I think of all of these little things. Is why yes. I love that Tough Light so much. This is going to be just a higher end version of that. I got tape right on that. It's just a nice little knife. That's a good Molina's pick. It's a great Molina's pick. Um, I don't uh, know. Love the name too. Yeah. Is, are they doing the Goblin in um, lesser steels and configurations yet? Not that I've seen. That's, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I know Best Tech does that, just like um, Kaiser and some of the other yeah. people do, but I have not seen the Goblin in that. But that is yeah, that is that is a pretty darn extremely sharp. It is sharp. It? it is sharp. That is yeah, that's a, that's a good show. Love the frame lock on this. Um, you know, there's something about the fact that it's all that same color. There's no liner. There's no interruption in the in the pattern that makes it look good. But that is a salt. Look at the foot. Yeah. On that frame lock. Yeah. Go to. It is, it is just a little solid piece of metal. <laughs> right there. We all do Three. that every time. I know. I'm too far over. Which way do I move? Where do I go? Because no, we, we don't see these mirrored to us. We see our monitors. They are flipped. So it's, yeah. it messes with your brain. You said about $160? Yep. That's nice. That's nice. From Best Tech. Very cool. Any other questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? She's trying to oh, catch up. Oh, they're concerned. What are that, go over the text thing again. Eight, two, oh yeah. Six, oh yeah. Eight four. two. It's eight two six four three. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. I know that there has been a text message thing that we've done, but we've got another text message we thing do. that we're going to do. That you've got to do. Yes. If you want to win. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna cover that at the very end. I promise we'll get to it. Any other questions before we do a pocket dump? You got anything in your pocket today? Dude, you back. I almost forgot this morning. The Did rain you? had was on my mind. I have I have been hooked. Nice. On this SOG Terminus. Nice. For about the last two weeks. That's this has been my go-to in my pocket. Is that the one with the XR lock in it? Or no? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's, their, it's their, uh, their version of the Access. Um, as I, you can I, tell, I've been cutting boxes with it. That's not bad at all. Does if you get your fingers around that lock, it does not pop. Right. So I've had to train myself to stay away from it. There you right. go. You have to get your thumb down past, so the yeah. uh, this XR lock slides down on both sides. If you get your thumb on top of the switch, it's not going to move. Yeah, it doesn't like to boogie. It don't like to boogie up there. But I like it. It's nice and light. It's a nice size. Yeah, it's a good size. Yeah, perfect for EDC. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And a, and a little like little stubby pocket clip too. So it, you know, and you've got sog on it, so it has a little bit a little bit of flair, but it's a nice short pocket clip. Very deep carry pocket clip. Very, I like very that about carry. sog. It's, it's um, very nice. But yeah, that's, that's been my, my go-to this week in particular. Fancy. There you go. Re8 Torrent. Oh. I saw it. It gleamed yeah, from the did. knife bowl. And it said, carry me. Carry me. You will to bet that Jonathan has his Re8 in his pocket, too. 
Think so? Yeah. Jonathan, do you? Oh, no. I'm shocked. He, you I forget which one his bit. is. Never been sharpened. Yep. Had it three years. Yep. It's a beast, man. It's a beast in the action on every re eight I've ever picked up. Is yes. the same. Yes. They are fast, smooth. You can, you can we'll feel see. it. Uh huh. And that handle is sublime. The cool thing about re eight right now God, for so us. Good. Yes, they are very high end, very good knives. Yeah. Uh, yes, they are made in China. They are. Um, I would stack it up against almost anybody's knife out there. But if you go onto yeah. our site right now and look at the Re8 Knives brand, you're going to be able to get an an epoch yeah. for way less than it was very at, at uh, MSRP or at its initial offering cost. Uh, if you've not had one of these and you come into the store, go find the Re8s in the store because play for a few minutes uh -huh. because you're gonna be shocked i know that sometimes you guys probably listen to us and you go oh they're just selling they're being paid to sell these knives trust us if we didn't like it we're probably going to tell you why we don't right like i said with this one i adore this knife this is not a one hand open closed knife for me i think you make it get there you can drop it closed you have to kind of shake it down but Pull that and, and give it a nope, this not way. No, going to do it. Um, <laughs> there are things about some of the knives we carry that, uh, that are not me. We tell you all the time, this is this knife, that price point is not mine. Right. Right. Um, so believe us, we're going to tell you if we just go, eh, or if we don't fall over it. That Re8, I am kid you not, the handle that Re8 <coughs> is one of the best feeling metal handle knives. Yes. That I've ever the missed. first time that I held one at sh at Blade Show, I was hooked. Yeah, it just yeah, the yeah. action was amazing. I had to have one, just period. I think I have two now, but yeah, it's just amazing, amazing knife from Re8. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store. Make sure you're going on the site, SMKW.com. Something yeah. new comes up all the time. All the time. Uh, hit the new arrivals at the top. Uh, just go cruise around and we see what's there. Right now. This morning, receiving brought up three shopping carts full of new stuff that needs pictures and descriptions, then it'll be online. So in the next week, we'll be dropping another, oh, 300, I, I told them that you promised to get me my Rough Riders up for next week's shows. They will be up, hopefully before then, but at least by next Thursday, they'll be up. Yeah, two new Rough Rider series coming yeah. in as well. They look really good, too. They're awesome. Do you know what I started doing today? What's that? I finished up last night. Changing all the Rough Rider titling. So now I'm making the changes. So if you go to the Rough Rider section, you're going to see the titles are going to get shorter. And yeah. they're going to make more sense. <laughs> it, is, it is the fun of the internet world, folks. It that is, you do it one way, yes. and then you change the one way, and then you change it again. Yes. And you go, hey, 28,000 products, that's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot to get through. I'll say this to you as well. We have the group out there. We have the page out there. We always answer our direct messages. Oh, yeah. Um, if you spot something that you think is wrong, please Let tell us. us. Tell us. Yes. Uh, we'd rather know than me come over here and, as a fool and tell you the wrong thing. Well, or if you have an issue with an right. order, hit us up on social media. Email in. Yeah. We are a company that does not shy away from that. I will we tell will look you, at you and go, oh, no, yep, that, that, we screwed that up. Let's fix it. <laughs> customer service related. I will tell you just flat out, faster than our email help account is yes. to hit us by DM either through Instagram or through Facebook. Yep. It's going to be your first stop sometimes, though. Just know that. That's what's well, going to happen. It's going to be, okay, we understand. Here's what needs to happen. You need to call 1-800-251-9306. Yep. And we will. I'll have a customer agent uh, go through you. Or sometimes it'll be just like, oh no no, it's this. You yeah, just need sometimes to do that. it's one stop. You can also send us questions about products on the website. So the same place you can leave us a review for a product. So say you bought the Sog Terminus, mm -hmm. you dug it, you want to rate it. You can go on the website. You can give it you know four or five stars, whatever you think it deserves mm -hmm. out of five, mm -hmm. and then tell us why. Right. You also have the option to leave us a question. So if you see something about this pinya and go, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think that the question that's we have accurate. right now that is still burning. This comes up as S thirty V N, and we're thinking that is supposed to be S thirty five V N. Came up in the middle of the show today, and because normally S thirty V does not have the N on the end of it. No, it usually doesn't. 
No. S35 VN does. I, you know, I don't know. But we'll check. See, we will. That's, yeah, the, that's, that's what I'm talking about. This if is, you find something, send it This is the beauty of the, of the internet. Yeah. I mean, we're a catalog company traditionally, uh-huh. or have been. Uh-huh. Um, catalogs, you print, you send them out, and if they're wrong, they stay that way. Right. Um, we do a really good job as a company of We made checking. mistakes. But it happens. Yes. It happens to Sears. It happens to, to Hammer and... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> God, God, I lost the Hammer name. Hammer Yes. Uh, Duluth. <laughs> all of those companies make goof-ups in, in print. Yes. The nice thing is on the web is if we do, and we do, we can fix it. Yeah. So ask the question online because that goes to our offices as well. Right. And Angela has no problem coming to all of us and saying, hey, <laughs> this customer said this isn't a 17-inch knife. <laughs> right. Exactly. It is that not blade, 0.75 inches thick. Yes. That blade... <laughs> Is listed as being 13 inches long. Is that right? No. No, it's no, it not. Is not. We're going to go find one, we're going to measure it, and we're going to get that changed. Exactly. Um, and we're going to thank you on that for that question because it, it's helpful. It's helping Absolutely. everybody else. Absolutely. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Different things happening on Instagram right now than you're used to. Make sure you're subscribing to YouTube. Can I tell you uh, how pretty Instagram is? I haven't told you or Melina that enough, I don't think. Her? Instagram's pretty. It's her taking pretty those pictures. pictures. Again, that is the highlight of my day sometimes is when she drops those in base camp and I get to look at them. It's like I get my own little Instagram. Right. Um, but our Instagram's pretty. And my wife the other night, she was playing around. She was like, well, that's a pretty Dang. picture. She said, She's well, gotten great at good. it. She has gotten oh, absolutely great at taking the pictures. Dude, now, then looked, you're also going to see my ugly hand holding an IF asking whether you want to kick it or card it. But it is just out there in the store. Sure, yeah. But the really pretty pictures, that's Melina. She's doing it. Card it, card it. If I had plenty of money. Okay. Card it, card it, card it, card it, card it, card it. Agreed. A hundred percent I would cart everything on the table yeah. if I had There's if I could nothing only there. Pick there. One? What would yes. you pick? Mine's easy today. Yeah, you're going for the parada. I am. I'm going for the pena. Really? Yes. Wow. I just dig what he's doing. Oh, you know why the Parada? Why yeah. the Pina? Oh, I just Is dig it what he. I, it's the feel of it. It's the craftsmanship in it. I believe that that I, though we have no proof at this moment. I know the first round of Penas were made by Re8. It's yeah. one of the reasons this is in the pocket today. Um, I think this round has been made there also. Though I, I have not ever right. seen a slip joint knife come out of Re8. Um, it's gorgeous. The fit and finish is amazing. And I like the idea, so having been in the traditional slip joint design world myself sure. for a long time, of taking traditional slip joints and modernizing them. Yeah. And I think Pena does that well, better than almost anybody. Especially if that was Re8, they did one, one hell of a good stuff. It looks and feels like Re8. I mean, feel the smoothness back here. I mean, There's just nothing. There is no difference in the lines. Right. Right. It's just yeah. it, the feel of it, the look of it. No, I think you're probably right. Yeah. It's a good knife. Very, That's very good. A good, knife. good, solid knife. Okay, so we have to decide what to give away. And luckily, we have already done that. This is yes, Jonathan, we have. this is your cue to ready that little thing. Uh, we are not giving away the uh, Molina's pick, nope. not the Parada, not the Titty Oot. We are giving away <laughs> the CRKT Montosa by Richard Rogers. And we're going to do Montosa. this a little bit differently than we have in the past. We're throwing you a curveball. Don't you right. get your hashtags out, put your hashtags away. That's right. You need to take your phone in your hand to get entered to win this. You need to text. CRKT, here's what's cool. He's gonna like stick this like right here on top of us. Sweet. Dad. Is it on there now, Jonathan? Awesome. Yeah. Text CRKT to eight two six four three. Yep. Uh, that you are going to automatically be added to our SMS text messaging list, and you will start getting maybe one, maybe two uh, sales uh, when special things are happening. Nobody else is getting them. You're gonna get them yeah. through your phone. Yeah, you also get entered to win this. So next week when we come back around to Thursday, we will use this list of those text For messages sure. to randomly pick a winner. And if you if you sign up to win and you don't want the text messages, we understand. Yep. You're going to miss out on some really cool sales. You and can some always Sean Josh magic. Yeah. On Fridays for a while. <laughs> Sean Josh That's magic. That's just frightening in and of itself. But you can always reply I think it's stop. I think it's stop. Yeah. Um, and you can and you can stop those texts. Yeah, at any time. Don't um, be crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Remember that standard messaging rates may apply. So based sure. on your own plan and what you get charged for text messages, 
I haven't been charged for text messages in so long I don't remember, but I do remember back in the day that it was bad if you texted way too much. At least since I, since Laura and I got married, because I think when we combined our plans, she took me off of some archaic right? plan that I was on. Because I, I get charged for a letter. I just hadn't called back in. That's why my messages say, see you. Yeah, and she was like, what? Why are you on that plan? I said, I don't know. I just hadn't changed it. All you got to do is do text <laughs> CRKT to. A two six four three. Yes, that's a good. Number. Jonathan, is it still sitting right there? Nice. Are my hands on each side of it? Wider. Right hand needs to come in. Nice. You just text that down a little bit. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> I am now holding what you need to do. Hashtag do the words. Text CRKT to eight two six four three, and we're gonna leave that up here for just a minute. Uh, question. No. Michael Laborski likes your shirt. Nice. This I is like my shirt. This, shirt. this is my Levi shirt. This I is like the it. shirt that I make. I know my wife loves me because every time I wear it, she goes, "You look so good in that shirt." Every That's time, awesome. fail it never fails. That's put good. Shirt on. That's good. I actually bought this shirt at a thrift store. It was worn by a cowboy in the old west. <laughs> he bought it off that cowboy. I did at the thrift store. His name was Sven. Sven the cowboy. Sven the cowboy. Yes, he was. He's one of those Minnesotan cowboys. Yeah, he was. You darn tootin' he you was. Darn tootin'. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna get out of oh. here. Jonathan has been running the board. He's gonna take away this message so we can wrap away, wrap up the show. Wrap away. Wrap it away. Wrap it away. That was that was his Indian kiss sidekick. And wrap away and Sven the cowboy. <laughs> Jonathan has been running the board and doing all the special little uh, graphics thing. Uh, Melina has been answering all of your questions and, and making sure that you get taken care of online. Jason showed up for part of the show today, so we're going to give him half credit and one demerit for today's show. <laughs> I am Andy, and this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. We'll see you on Tuesday. Go do the text thing. To do it text. right now. Do it. We'll catch you next time. This is a cool knife. I'm telling you.